Welcome back to my channel. Last week I showed you guys how to make this Halloween plant hanger slash pumpkin holder. Today I want to talk to you guys about how I applied the decal to the pumpkin. When you're applying a decal on a surface that is a little bit more tricky, um, I have a technique that I like to use. But if you missed the tutorial for the plant hanger, pumpkin hanger, check that out. There will be a link in the description box. But let's talk about the pumpkin. This design is a design I made and it is available on my Etsy store. Um, I will have the option for a decal or the option for a SVG cut file download. This is the design. Now whenever I make the pumpkin or whenever I'm sorry when I apply it to the pumpkin I'm going to be doing this in sections. And here's a list of all the supplies that I'm using and there'll also be um, a link to all the supplies in the description box along with the link to the SVG file and the decal. But as you can see when I printed this, I printed it in different, um, I printed it separate so that way whenever I apply my decal I can do it in pieces. So um, the first piece is actually a little bit easier to apply. I just get that one get the first one centered and then once we do that I'll show you guys where the wax paper comes into play because that's kind of my secret to making everything aligned and getting it how it needs to look and if you do want to order a decal and you want it in sections in this way that I do it um, definitely just let me know whenever you order and I can do it as a whole um, decal or I can do it in sections like I'm doing here for myself. I just place a pair of scissors under the pumpkin, try to keep it sturdy. Um, this piece I'm just going to eyeball and I know that I want my decal to be four inches. Um, it's Basically it's four inches, maybe a little over tall and four inches wide. But I'm going to use the, the pumpkin's little ridges here to just line up this first one. And then I'll show you guys how I use the uh, wax paper to do the rest. So now we're going to grab our next piece and we're going to get a small piece of wax paper just the same size as the piece that we're going to apply. And what we do here is you are going to take the wax paper and put get first get the decal separated and then put the wax paper on top. And then we just want a little bit of extra of the transfer tape sticking out on the side. I probably could have made this a little bit bigger. I was using scrap pieces of transfer tape, but just leave yourself a little bit of space because now we can move this around and get it exactly where we want. While I'm doing this, I do have a picture of my design in front of me, so I really I know where I want everything to sit. And then you're going to hold down on the right side where that piece of transfer tape is sticking out, you're going to hold that down. That way you can remove the wax paper and then you'll be able to apply it without it moving around. I also have a video where I show how to layer using the same technique. Um, I will share that as well if you're interested in wanting to know how to layer um, your vinyl decals. But once we do this, we're just going to keep going until we get the whole thing applied, just continuing to use. I used, um, you can use the same piece of wax paper or you can get wax paper that fits the design better. 
but just using the wax paper as a shield and then once you apply here it peels right off without sticking to or your decal sticking to it I definitely recommend the Reynolds um, wax paper I've tried to use the cheaper one it just doesn't work as well but the Reynolds is my favorite to use for this. 